Hello, my name is Dennis. This is my idea that I got from all my years of going to the swamp meet. It looks like an average soup case, but it's not. This is for the Avid scanner freak or the ham radio operator. This all started with an idea that I had and after careful planning it turned into a mobile communication center that I designed and built myself. It can be used on commercial frequencies, amateur radio, or to receive public service frequencies. It has three power sources. It has an internal battery that it will run for nine hours off of the battery. It has a plug in the bottom that it has an Astron 10 amp power supply that will run continuous. Or in the side it has for travel it has a cigarette plug that you can take it in a vehicle run an ex external antenna and you can just talk forever it has a, a programmable scanner that's analog digital I guess that's the catalytic repeater there so this was probably about a month's work and uh, I'm very proud of it I don't think you'll ever see anything like it. So right now it's running off battery power. So right now it's running off battery power, yes. Okay, this radio on the right side is a Kenwood 705D. It was a 30 watt mobile radio that I had tuned now to 10 watts for the battery consumption and for the RF so that you don't have a problem with that. It's programmable through the face for any amateur radio frequency on two meter or the commercial band. This basically looks like the same radio but it's UHF. It's a 805D and it'll go from the 440 band up to 483. This is a Radio Shack digital analog scanner and um, I have local frequencies programmed into that but it's it's not user friendly to program and that's about it. Everything has its own fuse. Uh, the power supply. The power supply has a relay in it so that it'll only let one power source work at a time. Um, either the power supply, the battery, or the cigarette plug. It won't let two sources work at once. It has a redundant backup system so if you plug it into 110 and the power supply is on, you flip it to battery power supply drops out it'll go to either battery or cigarette plug so that works out real well and that's about it